So it feels like as a, as a personal trainer, you kind of have the same relationship that you would, um, like if your clients were, like if you were a counselor and your clients were like your counseling clients, Dude, except for you yeah. don't have to like have all those boundaries in place. You can just like go as far as you want with like being their friend and like getting into their personal lives and like. Yeah, man. I was going to say great. like part of this job is to I'm totally a fucking counselor to some of these people, which I'm not qualified to do at all. But like, uh, like people, they like on, on the first day of training, just be like chatting, working out and they're just like, yeah, man, like my uh like fucking yeah. kid is like doing all this weird shit and i like i don't like my kid i'm like whoa, whoa, whoa. i mean holy and like uh it's, I, I think it's also because like i like i don't know them and like i don't know anyone they know and like they'll just like tell me everything and i'm just like what? whoa crazy Fuck. i think i think these coaches are up there with like like my mom's a hairdresser my sister's a hairdresser and i know a bunch yes of totally yeah exactly and I feel like those are like the big three of like non-counselor counselors mm -hmm. like my sister and my mom have given me like not stories per se but just like general vibes of just like oh yeah you're absolutely a therapist once they're in that chair like yeah yeah and yeah. like it's, i'm not trying to like do that but yeah, like no, no, it uh, but it's just like it people happens. yeah and that's okay yeah. it's like a bartender like Nobody, nobody, no bartender goes into this being like, I cannot wait to counsel some people today. Yeah. But eventually the guy's <laughs> going to come in there, drink half a bottle of Fireball and start crying. And, and be know. like, my, my, my wife. Yeah. Ah. Exactly. <laughs> I think probably like the thing about all those places is it's like the one place that you can, it's one of the places that you can go to focus on yourself. You're entirely alone with another person. You're yeah. like going there for, I mean, arguably self-care, self-care. I don't know about the bartender thing, but like maybe people need time away but like you're arguably going there for self-care you're going there to focus on yourself and i feel like it probably like brings up a lot of emotions like you know when i go to my hairdresser i'm like wow it's been a long time since i've spent money on myself and like felt like really good at like like i feel really good about how i look and i like how this person makes me feel about myself and so like i'm gonna want to yeah. talk to them more about these things so yeah, they totally just like, volunteer like that yeah, yeah. And and it's like, a natural like, hairdresser and then you Don't know. you have to? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. From further back, past <laughs> there's that junior high bully. <laughs>